Hey guys, uh, good morning. It's Angelo, Christian Financial. Thank you so much for watching Real Estate Insider, our podcast, Where America Goes for Funding. For the last 20 years, major announcement with FHA Student Loan 2022 update. Exciting news to let everybody know that the FHA has finally gotten, they've woken up and they've gotten smart about changing their student loan policy to actually mere conventional. So I'm so happy and applaud the FHA, the agency, for doing this to help more people become homeowners in the United States. So we're going to talk about this because it's a very exciting thing to see this change for 2022. So basically, the bottom line is this, more people are going to get FHA loans this year and moving forward because of this change with the student loan calculation. Previously, and for the last six years, if you were trying to get an FHA loan, you could have been trouble or believed because you were trying to get a mortgage and you had student loan debt. Did you know that over 67 million people in America have at least $28,000 in student loan debt? And this is a big problem when you're trying to get an FHA loan because they do the 1% multiplier in your debt ratio. And this can be very troublesome when you're, if you're trying to get approved for a loan. For example, let's say that a person did have 100,000 in student loan debt and they're trying to get pre-approved for an FHA loan. You had two options with the FHA. You could either do the 1% multiplier. So they take 1% times 100,000. That'd be $1,000 a month put into your debt to income ratio to try and qualify you for the loan. This is a major obstacle if you're trying to get pre-approved because you have rising home prices, you have wages that have flatlined, you have student loan debt that has skyrocketed. So how can anyone possibly get pre-approved for a loan? This is why so many people have been frustrated because they, they can't qualify for a loan because of the underwriting guidelines. And the house prices are rising so high. So a lot of people in 2021 sat on the fence, stuck renting. They weren't able to purchase a home because of what was happening. So in 2022, this student loan FHA update is a massive shift in the right direction. Now, whatever is reporting on your credit report as that monthly payment, the FHA will honor that on your, on your credit report to calculate into your debt to income ratio. So for example, if you had $100,000 in student loan debt and you're trying to get an FHA loan today in 2022, and that payment says $83 a month, that is the payment that FHA is going to give you credit for. Now, if you do not have a payment reporting on your credit report, all right, and it shows zero or deferred, the FHA is not accepting zero or deferred. So they will apply a half a percent multiplier. So it's changed from 1%, and it's dropped down to a half a percent multiplier. So if $100,000 in student loan debt is what you have, instead of being $1,000 a month like it was before, now it's only $500 a month. So this is definitely a huge change and it will lower your debt to income ratio and therefore boost your purchasing power on which you can qualify for for a loan. So remember, we're a nationwide FHA lender. We do multifamily FHA. We do cash out FHA. We do new purchase FHA, first time buyer FHA. So we'd love to hear from you. We lend all over the country for FHA loans from Hawaii to New York to Alaska to Texas to Florida. Please reach out to us. You can call or text our number above at 832-431-6331. We want we your nation's premier lender. You can also click on the YouTube description down below to get signed up to get pre-approved. I'm very excited about this change because millions of people now, it's going to open up the floodgates, more opportunity for more people to get approved for an FHA loan. So there is one thing I do want to add, a little bonus tip. If for some reason that your student loans are showing that they're deferred or that um, that you don't have a payment reporting, you can call your provider and you can ask them to uh, report a payment, get into a payment plan, whether it's income based or whatever, but just report some type of payment that will be less than half a percent. For example, let's say that you had one hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt and the payment was, let's just say it was zero is deferred. But with a half a percent multiplier is five hundred dollars a month. If you can call your provider to work out an income-based payment plan of $83 a month, for example, enter into that and then have them report that on your credit because then we can use that payment as opposed to the half a percent multiplier. So this is a phenomenal opportunity, a step in the right direction. It's basically and somewhat mirroring conventional lending. And I'm very excited that, they, that they've done this because I just see so many more people being able to get financing now with the FHA because it's one of my favorite programs. So if you're looking to get an FHA loan, don't be a stranger. Call or text us at 832-431-633. This is breaking news, major announcement, 2022 FHA student loan update. So thank you guys for watching the show and check out my next video, everyone. Thank you.